Yeah, hello, I'm Tom, and I'm a uh, professional ICT trainer and a QGA specialist. And uh, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick example in QGIS how you can um, manage, for example, assets in a pack. Um, so if you have a look at the screen here, uh, you can see that um, you have a few park benches and some signage uh, in a park. Uh, these ones I have been outside and just uh, collect these uh, points and uh, just uh, collected some data. So it's a little bit of data capture uh, using um, QGIS. And I just wanted to, to mention that this uh, background data here is provided by OpenStreetMap, which is an open source free data. So that's just been um, recognized here by having the data down there. Just wanted to mention that. So this um, software, QGIS, uh, or it's also known as Quantum GIS, uh, it's a free and open source uh, GIS software, uh, and it's um, a fully uh, functional GIS uh, with a lot of different uh, types of functionalities. Uh, and um, we can have a look up the top here uh, where you can see that there are different types of plugins for different purposes and we also have uh, uh, processing and we have different types of uh, um, yeah, uh, analysis tool and geoprocessing tools as well. So uh, I'm not going to cover that in this video but just pointing you to those uh, functionalities uh, or features um, so you're aware that this is a, a full uh, GIS software. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you how you can use different uh, tables and, and spatial tables and non-spatial tables and connect them together uh, to manage, for example, uh, furniture in, in a park. So in this case, uh, I have collected some park benches. Um, if you wanted to collect these yourself, uh, you could use a uh, GPS uh, enabled device uh, and you can go and collect this uh, based on that or you can also up the top here by making this um, benches um, table uh, editable uh, and you can then add features by clicking on the map here uh, so what that looks like you just click click on the screen and you get a form up so what I'm going to show you now is how you can manage, for example, a park bench and add some additional data to, to that in a so-called one-to-many uh, relationship. So to be able to uh, work with the data, uh, you have to select the, uh, the layer that you're going to work on. So you see I have selected, so it's all blue here. Um, so I've got a, this is a shape file. And I also have open a status uh, table, which is actually a database table, which is a non-spatial table. So to be able to do this, I'm just going to click on the tool up here, which is an identify features. Uh, and then once that's selected, you just click on, say, this park bench down here. Uh, and then you can see the data that's already been uh, collected. Um, it's a park bench, it's a wooden bench, uh, and this is the date when it was uh, the data was collected uh, and then we have um, a feature here that where you can add photos if you click on that button it will then um, take up the file uh, browser and you will be able to select a photo to attach and then it will give you the path of all that photo so but what I really want to, to show you here is that say in case um, you wanted to add a status or do an inspection on this uh, park bench uh, you would have then a different table just um, storing that data uh, and that's what we've got down here um, so you can toggle that uh, so you can turn it on and off uh, but if you want to add say a status to that you just click on the plus uh, and that brings up a uh, different um, form uh, and there you can then select from a, for example, a drop-down list. Uh, this, this is in, in a good condition, uh, and it's uh, me, Tom, inspecting this. And then you've got a date field, which if you click there, you actually get a, a calendar, uh, which just set to today, today's date, and I just click OK on that, and then you see that, that inserts there. Uh, if you wanted to um, add a photo, 
you could do that by clicking on this button here and select the file name. So I'm not going to do that now, uh, but I'm just going to click OK. Uh, and then you can see that uh, that has been added in here as well. And then you could toggle in between here so you can get the form open and then you can get the, uh, the inspection down there. Um, and uh, you can also up here select column preview, so what data you want to show as well if you want to do that. So you can show them by date if you want to do that and get the date up here. Uh, and then you will be able to see that in, in, um, in that window. So that's pretty much how that would work. Um, so then just click OK uh, and click on close here. Uh, always make sure that you click toggle editing uh, after you've finished and say yes to saving, saving the changes. So that was just a quick demo how you could use this. Uh, this is just uh, some sample data that I had been outside and, and created uh, for the purpose of this um, demonstration. So if you have any further questions, uh, as I said, I'm a QGIS specialist, so I can um, be to assistance in creating forms, setting up projects, uh, and I'll specialize in uh, QGIS training if you want to implement uh, QGIS in your organization. So please feel free to um, contact me uh, at tom at tftraining.com.au uh, or you can head to my website, which is www.tftraining.com.au and uh, contact me through there and uh, we can have a chat about your needs or if you have any questions, I'm happy to, um, to answer those. Alright, thank you very much for watching this video and have a good day.